Yasas Pedia, hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to make a donation jar tip system basically. A lot of you guys have been requesting this and um, I couldn't have done this without Dev Daniel, my friend who's making the please donate kit. Um, user, KJ, I don't know how to say his name, but <laughs> Dev Daniel is what I say, <laughs> that's his old name. But um, He's a wonderful guy and he made this and it's super well made. It's very simple actually to use it and I'm going to show you guys. Um, it's very smart, made in five seconds. But um, if you're new to the channel guys or you've been wanting something like this, please, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. We're almost at 56,000 which is awesome. I just love how we're going up and up. I just hope one day we're getting there to 100k which is awesome. But um, yeah, so you're going to hop into studio. So once you're in studio, which is where I am right now, um, you're going to go to the description. Everything's in the description. Just go click the link. Um, it's going to give you the model kit. Now, this was published by him, which I'll show you in just a second here. Um, so, it will just bring you to this little link right here. Uh, don't worry. You can get this easily by downloading this. Um, if you don't have this download button, I think you do need the extension. I made a video on that, so go check that out. Um, but, yeah. So, it's uh, Solventur is his name now. <laughs> but, yeah. This is the jar. Um, you can download it or get model. It will be in your inventory either way. Um, I'll actually probably just hit get model because, you know, um, that works perfectly. Um, so if I go to toolbox and I have this now, um, you just re refresh toolbox. I have it already. Um, and it's going to be right here. It's basically just this, uh, little toolbox unit. Okay. Um, and it's going to have everything for you. Now it's this little thing right here. Um, and you're gonna have a few things. Okay. We got starter player scripts and we got replicate storage. So, um, you're just going to drag these in where they need to be. So you can, Oh, I guess you didn't put it in the readme, <laughs> but starter player scripts. We'll just go put in the starter player scripts. Um, oh gosh, I guess we already have it in this game. I forgot. Yeah. Um, he was doing it here. Duh. Um, and then you have to drag the replicated storage change asset into that one. And then the jar of course goes into start it back. Once you do that, it's pretty much made and you don't need to do anything. It's already handled through and everything like that. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you how this works. Um, so basically you pull it out. Um, so every time you pull it out, so even when you just have it out like this, it's nothing's better, but you can't activate it. The only way to activate it is by, um, pulling it out. Um, as you can tell, so, uh, we need to fix this though, where, <laughs> uh, you can pick it up or drop it. You just have to turn that off. I'll show you how, but yeah, um, yeah, let me just redo that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, can be dropped. Make sure you guys turn that off, turn that off right now. Um, but yeah, so basically how this works is right as you pull it out, it's going to have four little buttons. Okay. Now he made it. So we <laughs> tried to test it, um, that it uses game passes, um, t-shirts, clothing, anything you want. Okay. Um, now I do think though that with uh, some of this it has to be it all has to be under your name I'll have to double check. You'll probably have to double check, but basically you go and grab any ID. Okay, so I'm gonna grab uh, a T-shirt I made. Okay, or yeah, what I'm gonna grab a T-shirt I made um, oh gosh, why do I make things for a million? So you go right here and I just hit confirm once I do that It's gonna pop in it's, and it's gonna say a million and basically people can buy it um but yeah so see it pops up the menu for selection and then um yeah so basically it will always stay there and then basically what happens is when someone purchases it um it's going to uh send a chat into the box saying that this person purchased this much for this much robux um or bought or donated something to oh yeah sorry donated this amount to that person uh but yeah it's super easy to use so you just put your eyesight id right here if you don't want to do that you just go to the link and then you grab that middle number, like how I have grabbed this number right here. And then, uh, yeah, you just put it down. And you don't even need to worry about anything. It basically just works like that. It's super simple. Um, there is no sound effects, though. Um, if you want sound effects, I can probably show you how to do that. Um, but, yeah, and I'll show you how to customize it if you'd like. Um, but, so, chat message, as you can tell. Uh, if you yeah, actually, if you want to customize the chat message, you can, too. Um, but, yeah, um, as you can tell, text, color, all that. You know, what size, what font, if you want a different font can if you want a different size you can um, and we have the main script right here uh which is going to uh fire stuff so yeah as you can tell we have owner name and name it's going to say that they donated uh you know the little character and then to owner name um and yeah so basically um i'll explain the script in a second here um if you want to look at what this looks like you probably take it into starter gui and then i think visible on yeah you just put visible on and um, you can customize this uh, to your likings. Uh, just make sure that you put this back where it needs to be and you turn the visible off, all that kind of jazz. But as you can tell, uh, you have a little button thing that can pop up. Jeez, he scripted this way too fast. 
God, he's so freaking talented. <laughs> I asked this and he did it in like five seconds, I swear. Uh, but yeah, so uh, uh, as you can tell, he has all the scripting in here. This is probably where it talks about, um, you know, the button, prompt purchasing, all that uh, stuff, game pass, um, and yeah, putting the IDs in and everything like that. So that's very nice. Um, this will talk about in a second, but yeah, you can just customize this how you like selection, uh, may probably main right here, buttons one, two, three, and four. So yeah, if you want to change the colors, you can go like, you know, a blue and then another blue and then another blue, you know, just do whatever you want to do with that. That's totally up to you. You can have a little color theme, you know, uh, but yeah, so, um, pretty simple like that. And yeah, custom it to your liking. Just be careful when you do these kind of things that you don't mess it up. So like, you know, visible and then I put this back into a jar in the script. Uh, but yeah, so there's a click detector, uh, max activation assistance 32. You can change that to your liking as well. Um, now, if you do want to customize the jar, um, not too difficult. You know, it really just, uh, well, it's not hard at all. Um, <laughs> you know, there's just this lid inside and handle. Uh, you know, I mean, this, you don't even, like, honestly, you would even need this. Click detector, though, just gives it that purpose. Uh, but, you know, you could go and make a bucket, you say, let's say. So if I want to grab a bucket, um, Let's see. So I, okay, not a bucket of fish. <laughs> uh, bucket. Yeah. All right. Let's just, you know, main bucket. <laughs> okay. Okay. No. Okay. There's a main bucket right here. So the handle. So basically, I just put that in here. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Oh, gosh. You don't need any of this stuff either. Um, and you probably want to add a sound, though. Yeah. Like I was going to say in a second here. But um, yeah. And then you just want to use, um, if you do have a moon. Uh, no, not moon tool grip editor. That's also perfect. But yeah, uh, my camera is kind of blocking it, but it already looks pretty good for me. I mean, I just would have to rotate this. So it's out and then let's say I want it to be like a little out. Oh yeah. So you can see on the screen now. Oh, actually I want to make it look like they're holding it. Right. So probably like this a little bit like that. Yeah. Perfect. So now it looks like they're kind of like they're holding it basically. Um, then you're going to just close that and it'll do that for you. Yeah, and then uh, that's about it. Um, but if you want to add, let's say, like a surface GUI, you know, if you want to add something on the thing that says like, oh, like, you know, I'm a, like, see, there's a surface GUI on this part, but you'd want to go on the, like, let's see, left side, it looks like, yeah, left side. And then you'd want to go like, um, like, background transparency zero, and then like text label, and then you can go like size, like uh, one, zero, one, zero, and you can go, Oh wait, actually, yeah, this should be also one zero one zero one zero one zero one zero. Perfect. And then you can go and you can just like say like, oh, take the background transparency off. Well, it's probably better to do a billboard, but <laughs> yeah, it's probably better with parts too, actually. But um, yeah, and then you can just like do make it like customize. You know what I mean? Um, that's not. Don't use a service UI. I would probably just use like a billboard GUI or something. I mean, actually, I would use a service UI, but not on a mesh like this because it looks a little wacko. Unless you just change it uh, direction wise, um, which I think you could do. I actually don't know though. I forgot how you do that, but you get the point. Uh, but yeah, so that's good. Um, but that's about it. I mean, if you look right here, using tool equipped, basically, uh, we're gonna grab that G that UI um, and we're gonna clone it, and we're gonna set the parent to the player GUI. Oh, okay, of course. And then we are going to set it visible, all that stuff. Unequipped, we're gonna destroy that jar. Um, then we have the click detector, which is going to test if they clicked it and all that stuff. Um, we have a few server event, the one server event, um, which double checks that asset ID type price, all that jazz. And then we have the marketplace service right here. Um, this is just to, uh, look for, you know, if they purchase the thing. Uh, so yeah, so if prompt purpose, so if they, if they purchase a t-shirt or sure, anything like that, it's going to use this function. And then if they use a game pass, it's going to use this function, which it's the same thing. Technically, you have to do two functions because uh, this is a purchase uh, and this is a game purchase. So it's like a little different, stupid, but you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would just go through this if you're new to this kind of scripting. It is for me too as well. I mean, not like new, but like the way he did it is new. Um, and if you want to just learn, just look through it and see how he did it. It's uh, very well to just learn through that. But yeah. Um, oh, and then, uh, yeah, sorry, uh, the sounds. Um, if you want to add a sound, I'm pretty sure you're... Uh, on my behalf, I don't know. I would add a sound into the handlebar, put it in here, call it like purchased or, you know, coins, you know, find a coin sound. You can go into here and go into like audio probably um, and go like coins and then money. See, perfect. Uh, 
sure fate. That sounds like money, right? <laughs> and then you just insert that, uh, grab that ID. Oops, nope, not like that. Yeah, copy that ID, paste it into here, and you don't have to roll off distance. You want it to be like 50. You don't want it to be that long. Um, and then the volume could be like, you know, uh, whatever, 0.5 is perfect. Um, but I think in the script, what you would want to do, so if purchase equals true, then it's going to, uh, yeah, check right there. So actually, what you'd want to do is just go into here, and then you would just go uh, script, oh, oops. Um, yeah, script.parent, uh, dot handle, dot coins, and then you would just go blank. And then you would also want to copy and paste this into here. And I'm pretty sure that actually should say play on the server side as well as this is a server script and it's inside the handle and this will be inside a player basically. So um, that should be about right. But yeah, so that basically is what would happen, honestly. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed a little short tutorial. Um, you know, something uh, simple, I guess you could say. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I have a lot more coming, you guys. So feel free to watch them coming and uh, stay tuned for more. Bye-bye.